Two for the last day, the person with 30 million stands behind his back and creams their pants anytime he even does slightly anything on YouTube, has finally done a face reveal, and it's got probably the most mixed reactions I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> We're not even 30 minutes after he did the live stream and face revealed to the entire world, hashtag he's ugly and hashtag put it back on was trending on Twitter because not a lot of people liked what they saw. With people saying he looked like Shane Dawson, Onision, and Grumple Stillskin from Shrek. I mean, you gotta love the internet for the creativity, but why attack his looks? And with this video being trending number one on YouTube today because of the amount of views it got, it's even got nearly half a million dislikes alongside it, which is probably not a good look for Dream because most of his videos get nearly all likes and no dislikes. And before he did this entire face reveal, he got all his friends, YouTube friends, basically anyone he's interacted with in the community to do a reaction to his face reveal. And honestly, all these reactions the content creators have done are just overly exaggerated. Nobody would react this way to someone's face, including Tina Kitten did the most overly dramatic reaction ever to seeing Dream's face. Like I saw this live stream show when it came out, I watched it and I was like, oh, that's what he looks like. I didn't act like this. Hello? Jawline. Oh my god, hello! Hello! What the heck? Hi! Wait, your canines! Your eyeballs! They're real! Wait, I'm literally- oh, wait, stop. I'm sweating. Oh my god. Oh, it's you! In the flesh! Oh my god! Wow. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Fucking cringe. But can I honestly ask the community, why do you care? Why does everyone care about what he looks like? But like, honestly, what does this change in the whole community? Oh, he might do webcam videos in his next manhunt videos. Like, who cares? It doesn't change who he is. It doesn't change his content. It doesn't change nothing. Honestly, the dream stands are the most toxic and cringest people in the community, in my opinion. They act so weird all the time. Like, I saw a bunch of comments saying, oh my God, he's so hot, he's so cute and everything. But the fact that most of them are reacting like this to how he looks and saying, oh, he's ugly, put the mask back on, he shouldn't have done the face reel. They were asking for this for fucking months. So why are they complaining now? It's just like, if he didn't do this face reveal, everyone would have been like, oh, I bet he's hot. I want to see what he looked like. Everyone would have been like that. But now that he's shown his face and they, oh, they don't like what they've seen. Now they're like, oh, I wish I didn't see his face. I wish he didn't do this. It just kind of seems like a stupid reason, to be fair. I, I don't like the community for how they reacted. And my opinion on this face reveal, yes, I give him full props. I am happy that he felt the courage to show his face to the entire world and his community on his YouTube channel. But then with him getting reactions like he looks like Lord Farquaad from Shrek, it's just probably stu it's just so cringe in my opinion. I mean, yes, it's fucking hilarious as well, but also cringe at the same time. I mean, what makes this worse, Dream probably knew this was going to get mixed reactions from the community because... A couple months ago or something, he sold bracelets with baby pictures of his, which he's kind of asking for it, to be honest. Because he must obviously know how creepy and obsessive his fans get over him. So now that he's shown his face, he knows that they're going to get worse over time. Hey, whilst I was editing this video, I found out that Pokimane and Ludwig live streamed their reactions whilst he was doing a live stream to all of his fans about his face reveal. So Pokemon and Lugwick basically tried to cash in on his face reveal because they know it would have got them a load of views, which it probably did. I'm not gonna double check because I do not like their content. And honestly, both their reactions are just the deadest ones ever. They didn't even react that well. They didn't even react much to it, which just makes the whole build up for their streams fucking boring. Oh my God, why did Offline TV even put this on their channel? This is just a boring 49 second clip. Like why? I'm sorry, what is that? <laughs> Fucking annoying. Do I just drop it? Yeah. All right, for real. I'm dropping it. Okay. Hi. Oh my God, he looks. Feels, feels so awkward. Talking to a camera for the Aww. first time. Aww. My name is Clay, otherwise known as Dream Online. Um, may have heard of me. May have not. Maybe you clicked on this video just out of pure curiosity, and you don't care who I am. But now you see my face, and so obviously you know who I am. I'm just oh so my god. Cool. He has anime your eyes. Your face <laughs> Someone said he looks like this guy from Shrek. I low-key see it. He very much has anime eyes. You know, they're like uh that part of Demon Slayer where it's like his soul is pure. <laughs>
that was like the bo most boring reaction I've ever seen in my fucking life. Can I please talk about how bad her desktop audio and her mic audio is in this video? Like this, this isn't my fault. I did not edit it to be any worse than it already is. This is literally how her stream was. How do people watch this? Oh, I'm getting a little sidetracked there. This isn't about Pokemon, it's about Dream. So I'm going to go on Twitter and do my live reactions to what I saw on Twitter and what people have been tweeting about this entire face reveal. So this, this is going to be fun. But I'm going on Twitter. I looked up Dream face reveal just to see what people have tweeted about this. Well, someone commented on Dream's face reveal on TikTok, it looks like, saying, I'm on a flight and brought airplane Wi-Fi just for this moment. Like, airplane Wi-Fi must be bloody expensive. So you, you just buying this is probably a waste of money. So... That's the dream stand at heart. How everyone reacted to Dream's face reveal. Hashtag Dream was taken. So basically hashtagging him. And it's just uh, one of the guys from SpongeBob vomiting. So that that's pretty far. <laughs> that's pretty far, but funny at the same time. You thought I would be a cute and sexy anime boy, didn't you? Didn't you, you bad boy? But for real, put the mask back on Shane Dawson. Oh my god, that... They're comparing him to a fucking cat lover. Oh my god, this is this is worse than we thought. That's it. That's the dream face reveal. That's just some generic East Coast Florida boy. And it's just a pirate from SpongeBob being very disappointed. The dream face reveal starter pack. It's basically Grumble Still Skin, Matt Pat. Whoever the hell this guy is, I I, I don't I, I actually don't know who this is. And uh, an, another generic Florida boy. I think that is. I, I don't I honestly don't know who the two last pictures are. Was this POV, you're me witnessing Dream's face reveal? Oh, is this going to be a Dream stand video? Yep, it obviously fucking has to be. Why do you screenshot like 15,000 pictures? Like, not even. What? Oh, we got to get the good angle. It's like women when they're taking pictures, I swear. <laughs> Why are people posting their reaction to the face reveal? Like, who cares? We've already seen Pokemon, and now it's boring as fuck. When I saw the face, yeah, this was me. This was literally me. Like, who the cares? Who cares about Dream's face? I need how, yeah, exactly. We don't need to care. Why should we care about Dream? We need how the basic, how the basics face reveal was the best video ever because it had just a bunch of people saying they were how the basic. Dream's face reveal is nothing compared to how the basics. <gasps> oh my god, it's, so it's just a bloke. <laughs> I mean, exa exactly. It's, the, it's a bloke. It's, the, it's, a bloke. it's, just it's a, certainly a bloke. It's just a guy. It's just a bloke. Okay, I'm Alex and Mimulus has the best reactions to this. I'll give it to them. 10 out of 10 IGN. Best reaction of all time. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making this. Pretty much as soon as I saw that Dream made a face reveal and I saw how the community reacted, I knew I just had to make a video talking about it and my opinions on it. And I hope you guys enjoyed me reacting to shit I found on Twitter because most of it was just cringe and pretty much I would have put more in there, but they're all pretty much the same thing with everyone just screaming and overreacting at the fact that Dream showed his face. So it's all pretty much the same thing or saying that he looked like a certain someone. And if you guys want to see me make more videos like this in the future, just let me know in the comments down below. And did you guys know 66% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel? So why not consider subscribing? I upload every day and I try and get at least one commentary video out a week. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.